Hello everybody, this is Naomi. I'm showing my Autumn Arrived Altered Book. Um, I was doing a, uh, doing this with, uh, Line.Arrow. Um, she put out the kit for this. And, um, she walked us through the whole step of altering an actual book and putting pages in, folds, and stuff like that. So this is my interreactions of that. And I used uh, Autumn Arrived Kit, her Autumn Wonder Kit, and Autumn Breeze Kit from Line.Arrow. Then I have another kit that I use that is not Line.Arrow. It is called the Full Frame Lined Vintage Pages. And it's put out by Von Tech Vintage Designs. And I will have all those listed below. That way, if you want to go find the same pages that I've got, to use, they're in both of their uh, Etsy shops, and you can go find them. Okay, this book turned out a little bit alligator mouthed, more than what I wanted. But, she's a beautiful book. Here is, I made a dangle. And I want to put some more, put some leaves like I did here, on here. I just haven't done that yet. But this is my cover. This is the spine. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I had done my cover first. And everybody has really liked my cover. And this little image of the boy. And let's see. Is part of Line.Arrow's kit. Okay, we're going to get right into the book. First page in. I named my book Autumn Arrived. So I used this page of hers, and then I come back and added some uh, leaves and pumpkins and a bucket with flowers and stuff to bring out this image. And this is one of her pockets. And I put this little girl on here with some, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, Anyways, it's the uh, string with all the strings on it. And then I put this on it, and I sewed around it. And inside, and as you see, I lined the inside. And then this is just some uh, paper. Lined paper that goes in here. Come on, get back in there. And that hat works. You never can get it to go back in the way that it come out. There we go. Okay. And this is one of her pages. And these are pit, uh, bits and pieces. And I just made a little thing here, tied it off here. We'll tie it back later. And the second page, this is from that kit that I was telling you, the Full Frame Lined Vintage. That is this kit here, part of this kit here. But this is all of uh, Line.Arrow's kit. Isn't she pretty? And then I sewed around it. 
put some lace here, added a couple butterflies. And then the next one, this is part of that full frame line kit. And this is any other pages that look like this is going to be that one kit. The rest of it is line dot arrows kit. So there's that. And then I just did some separating of the pages. Made some pockets. And you would not believe, but this is a washi tape. I got this with uh, Timu. And it is the big rolled washi. that cool? I do recommend it to glue it because it the sticky is not very good as you see. But isn't that neat? So that's what I use to make this pocket with. Get this out of the way. And then these are her tags. And I didn't do a lot of decorating to the tags because I like the image that's already on the tags. So I didn't really want to take away from what she had already put on the tags. So I left it. And then here's two more journaling pages. And here is a journaling card I made from one of her pages. Some I sewed all the way around, some I did not. And that happens to be one of those that I did not sew. So this one here has three pockets. One here, this one here, and this one here. And on this page, it originally just had the butterfly, so I've Cut this butterfly out, put it here. Cut this little hedgehog out and put it here. And then you have... This page was together, but you can't tell it. But I just separated them. Made some tags. I made... These are her tags. And this one, I just took the page of, of one and put it on the other and... Added a little butterfly, added autumn arrived, added a tab here, I added two of the pockets, there's a pull out card here that I made, and then there's a pocket here with two of her cards. So there those are. And then here, I just had some leftover of this page here, and I made a little pocket here. This is one of her uh, envelopes. And I put this, uh, Stick it here to make a, a envelope door holder, and I used her cards. And then, of course, her beautiful page. Use some washi tape there, and that slides back in. And then, of course, here are a couple more of those pages. And then there's a tuck-in here. Trying to stay in frame where you can see. And over here, 
two more beautiful pages and I just split them in half. This one went over here. This one went over here. I like them the opposite way. And then here is another one of her pages. And I made cards out of it. And then over here, this was another page. And I just made a card. This one definitely has plenty of journaling space, which I liked. Um, and then all your journaling cards. See, here's another journaling spot. This is a belly band. I used actual leaves here. And I laminated them, and then I put them in her frames. Added this butterfly, added a little bit of lace. And isn't that a beautiful owl? I love owls. I have owls all over my room. And so that goes back in there. Added a tab. And here's two more journaling spots. Flip it over here. This was one page. I just separated it and made uh, a tuck spot here. Added this mushroom down here. Added some lace. And then with this card here, I just added the flowers. These are all been fussy cut it out with the butterfly. And then the card says, remember this, where well, you can, you know, put whatever you want on there. And I glued this on here. And then these are all um, different tags. Come on, go back in there. That's a pretty little girl. Okay, so there's those. And then over here, this is another one of the leaves that I laminated. And <laughs> I did not realize I did this till after the fact. That ought to show you right there how much I like that page. And I did it back to back and did not realize it until after the fact. But this was another one of her pages and I turned it in to an envelope, and then I put a bunch of her um, ephemera pieces in it. This way you get more places to Hold the ephemera because there was a lot of ephemera with this kit, which I like because you get, you know, um, things that you can play with. So that goes back here. And then this was a page. This one, matter of fact, was the cutoff of this one. Put it here, and then this was another page. I added the memories. Then I made this tag, and I put the butterfly image in behind this here. Added memories. And then I added this tag up here at the top. And that goes in here. And then I made a couple of specimen cards with my leaves. The yellow maple was found in Fairfax, was harvested on the 21st of October, 2023. And I'm not really sure what type of tree this was, but it was also harvested on the 23rd. But I thought that was pretty neat. It was a way to, to show, you know, real plants, I mean, real leaves for fall. And use them in your book. So that's what I did. 
and then we flip over here another page and then this is a CD holder it has a, a laminated figure leaf I wasn't able to use the whole thing so I used the main frame of the leaf and then this goes back in here just like that then you have this page that you can journal on and then you flip it over here and you get this page you can journal on and then I put a tab over here and as you see I have a bunch of leaves with the uh, um, string over here and then here are two beautiful pages I love these pages and here's a card that I made out of her pages sewed around them and then it just goes back in like that and then this is one of her uh, file folders I uh, fussy cutted this deer out and the mushrooms and the butterfly and put on here but journal and then I just put in some T dot papers for more journaling space so them in and then that goes over here so there's that I'm getting out of frame again sorry about that y'all and then here's two more writing spots I sewed around the edges here and then over here are two more spots and I uh, eliminated the sleeve cut it out glued it here sewed around the edges same here this is a pocket I made of my own uh, trying to do different you know and then there's another leaf and then here's her beautiful page and like I said I hate to cover them up because they're already so pretty so I kind of leave them as they are and then this one was just you know so I added a butterfly I mean uh, excuse me a leaf I laminated added one of her pockets and more of her ephemera uh, pieces and then those go in there and then that goes in there and then over here has two pockets and I added this leaf added these two tags to the corners just like so and then over here sewed around here made this pocket put this beautiful butterfly here on this and then I made this writing book and it's the little boy and the little girl and then I made this little closure you pull it out and you open it up and then there's writing tablet inside so there's that and then you flip the page and then you have this beautiful little squirrel and you can use this as journaling space these are I uh, had um, uh, a stencil and I ink these stencils the flower the tree leaves on there there's another real leaf that I put in here and then you have this image and these are split
Okay, flip these two to like that. And then you got this page here with the squirrels. There's a bigger picture of that uh, deer. And then I sew it around this card. Flip it over. And then you have two journaling spots here. See what I'm saying? How can you cover up that owl? I couldn't. And here, just beautiful. And then I added some trim here. Added the word love here. See, isn't she pretty? And here's another deal of my leaves. And then those flip over. And then here's two more tags. And then you have this little birdie tag. And then over here, here's another belly band. And I added this little bird here. Added the word family time. Made this cord out of one of the extra pages. And then you flip it over here. Here's some more writing space. And then you flip this over here. Here's two more of her pages. And I took one, this ticket here and made a little pocket. Just like that. Here's another one of her pages. This goes together as the page. And then this one slides back in here. This page is a whole page. I just split it in half. This is one whole page. Right there. And then I have this one. I didn't sew around this one. A couple more pages. Got this. There's another one of my leaves. And I put remember this. Maybe it's something happened. That you really want to remember that's special to you. Put it on those pages. And then. I cut this out and made a side tuck. With the mushrooms. And here's another one of her cards. I may put one of the envelopes on top. Put another one of my leaves that I uh, uh, laminated. Made this card. And then that goes like that. And then you flip this one over like this. And then there's one of her cards. And it just goes back in here like that. And then I added autumn leaves to this one with a butterfly. Added this out here. And then here is another page. Or another card that I've made. From her kit. And we're at the back of this here book. Flip it over. That pretty. This is one of her pages. I just couldn't cover it up. And then here's another one of those frames. I put this envelope over it. Put this leaf. And here's this beautiful hawk. And needless to say, my book is just wrapped in brown paper sack. Wasn't a lot I really wanted to do to it. I wanted to keep the brown color due to it being fall. So, 
There is my autumn arrived journal. And like I said, it did get alligator mouth big time. But I love it. Um, fall is my time of the year. Um, mixed with Halloween. And I got sick there for a little while. I didn't let anybody know that I had been sick. I didn't want, you know, so I just, I've been trying to play catch me up. I haven't even decorated for Halloween, if that tells you. And then I've got a birthday coming up in November the 2nd. So, you know, I'm trying my hardest to play catch me up and stay ahead, but not let my sickness take me down. And no, it wasn't the C word. It was just common cold. Um, but it was kicking my tailbone. So, if you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. And I hope everyone has a happy and blessed day. Thank you, everyone.